Jacuzzi turned on Can you feel me in? Can you feel me in? It's like David It's Ryan that's who it is. Oh my oh, goodness. Yes. <laughs> so, that was gold. Oh, that was a dream. I think it felt like one. So I didn't slept for two days. I've literally, got, <laughs> I had like six or seven subjects to go through. We've got through two. <laughs> maybe, maybe one. three. Do you know what? That means it's been good. I, I loved it. My Radio 2 All Stars, Tony Blackburn, Zoe Ball, Ryan Clark. Thank you so much. We Thank love you. This has been an Aura at the Ball production, and this is BBC Radio 2 on the BBC Sounds app, your smart speaker, and on 88 to 91. FM. BBC News at 10 o'clock. This is Catherine Cracknell. Within the past hour, police have announced they've arrested a 30-year-old man on suspicion of murdering a woman who died in a pub shooting in Wallasey on Merseyside on Christmas Eve. She was named earlier as L. Edwards, known as Ellie, who was 26. A 19-year-old woman's been arrested on suspicion of conspiracy to murder. At least 50 people have died in ferocious winter storms sweeping across the United States and Canada. Around half the victims have perished in Buffalo alone in the state of New York, whose governor, Kathy Hochul, warned the danger wasn't over yet. We have been through a lot of wars together, and this blizzard is the one for the ages. Certainly it is the blizzard of the century. And as much as we can see the skies right now, we know that uh, the storm is coming back. We're expecting another 6 to 12 inches. The southern part of Erie County, a little bit south of here, uh, they had 30 to 40 inches of snow overnight. The Foreign Secretary, James Cleverly, has accused the Taliban of trying to erase women from society in Afghanistan. He called on the regime to reverse its decision to ban female workers at non-governmental organisations in the country. Six charities have suspended operations in Afghanistan because of the ban. Our correspondent, Ambarasan Esirajan, says there's more than just a point of principle driving the move. They cannot carry out work without their female staff. For example, a health charity like MSF, if they want to provide medicine uh, to a women household in Afghanistan. A man cannot enter into that house because of this cultural values and it is only the women health workers who can freely go and talk to these uh, Afghan women, ask their problem and then, then give them medicine or vaccination. The Chinese President Xi Jinping has urged his officials to do what's feasible to protect lives as his country faces an explosion of COVID cases since relaxing, relaxing coronavirus rules earlier this month. Older people have been particularly badly hit, with few having received vaccinations. A nurse at Peking University People's Hospital, Zhao Ying, said the situation was serious. Our daily workload is huge. At this moment, we've reached our emergency capacity of more than 530. 30 patients. All those who come here have oxygen levels at only 50%, 60%, 70% or so. So we feel a lot of pressure when it comes to severe cases. Our medical staff fell ill one after another and many colleagues are still working despite being sick. Initial figures suggest shoppers defied Boxing Day expectations, with the number of people heading to stores up by more than 50% on the same period last year. There have been concerns that cost of living pressures would keep people away. Football and in the Premier League, Newcastle have gone second after winning 3-0 at Leicester, the sixth consecutive win for the side. And the weather, there'll be wintry showers overnight in the northwest of the UK, but clear at first elsewhere. And that's the BBC News at three minutes past ten. Now. now, John Holmes is ba- ba- bangers. bangers. Mash. Mash. Now. On BBC R- R- Radio 2. Hello, is that, uh, is that the top media lawyer, Mr Cliff Fluitt? John, this is the 38th time you've called me this week. It's Boxing Day and just please call me Cliff. Sorry Cliff, I just, I, I, what it was, I needed to check, I wasn't calling the other Cliff. You know, by mistake, I mean, it's Christmas, isn't it? Hashtag mistletoe and wine. Anyway, look, the thing is, right, you know how I love a grey area. Well, I've pitched an idea to BBC Radio 2 that's got more grey areas than that dirty Fifty Shades book from a few years ago. This whole programme is one massive great grey area. It's the blue whale of grey areas. Look, hang on a minute, I'll, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll, I'll email it over to you. Hold on. There you go. Did you get that? Have you got it? John Holmes, bangers, mashed. Oh, right. 
a whole program of classic mashup. Great idea. Yeah, well, thank you. But here's the thing. They've commissioned it, and now it's 10pm on Boxing Day. The program's about to start, and I just need to check that I'm actually OK to even play these songs out, given that the whole mashup thing is a... You know, well, a grey area. Well, John, it's an absolutely fascinating question. It all comes down to whether or not you think mashups are fan fiction, fair use. Or... Yeah, I'm really, I've got time for this. Do you want to speed it up a bit, Cliff? Okay, well, look, yes, I think I would say, is it fair use? Mm. Is it free? Mm. Is it good? Mm. I think you're probably okay, but, John, it really is a grey area. Well, you know, Cliff, you know me, I love a grey area. Let's do it. <laughs> 